Hello and welcome. My name is Jakob Hakim, your host, and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. This is the Gladstone gadget. It's available as an in app purchase, and Gladstone is a sample based drum machine, including 20 analog sounding drum kits. So this is basically going to be a walkthrough of the gadget and the functions within. Starting at the top, you have the kit preset browser. So this is where you load your kits. And if you make tweaks and changes to a kit, then you can always save them. Tweaked. Save. And the kits you save end up in the user folder. Now let's focus on the lower part. As you can see, you have a sound section, a compressor, and an equalizer section. The compressor section and equalizer section affects the overall sound coming out of Gladstone. It's different, however, with the sound section. The changes you make in here only affects the selected pad. Right now we're at the bass drum pad. Now when opening up this window here, you get a browser showing the different samples included in all of the 20 kits. This way you can assign whatever sample you want for whatever pad you want. So if I want this snare on this pad, I simply tap it and now we have a snare. And to answer any questions, no, you cannot import your own samples into Gladstone. Now let's have a look at these controls. The tuning mode pretty much does what it says. The decay sets the length of your sample. A panning knob. The last two knobs are for controlling the built-in ambience reverb inside Gladstone. Ambience send level. and dry level. These knobs are really, really interesting because the samples inside Gladstone aren't multi-sampled, so it's not like you get different types of hits when triggering different velocities. But since Gadget is awesome at modulating stuff, by modulating the dry and ambient send levels, you can get some pretty interesting results. So that way you could simulate something that would sound like a multi-sampled drum set by modulating these two knobs. And if you're wondering where you can access the modulation controls, first I'll just tap this up here so we close down the gadget. And then I tap this area right here. And if we look at the side here, you can see that for each of the drum pads from 1 up to 10, you have access for modulating the tune, decay, pan, ambient send and dry level. Let's open up the gadget again and double tap it to make it large. Now the compressor and equalizer unit are pretty much self-explanatory. Utilized correctly, you can get some pretty dirty and nasty sounds. Now moving on to the equalizer, you have to pay attention to this switch right here. You can switch between frequency and gain mode. In frequency mode, you set the frequency of your band and in gain mode is where you do your gaining. So let's say I want a bit more bass inside my bass drum. I make sure that this switch is in frequency mode and then I set the frequency to around 70 Hz. I then switch to gaining mode and now I can amplify this frequency. Listen again while I switch up the frequency. Lastly, we have the master controls. So a volume out and the ambience level mix. And this one tweaks the ambience level mix for all of the drum pads. So there you have it, Gladstone for Korg Gadget. If you don't have Gadget, it's half price right now, so now might be the right time to get it. I always put an app link down in the description so you can go check it out if you want. As usual, Doug Woods, Colin Sweeney, and me, Yoko back at thesoundtestroom.com, wishes you a very productive week. Now go finger your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.